What's up? My name is Brandon Gross, and if you're new to the channel, I'm an adrenaline enthusiast that's been living full time on the road in this converted school bus for the past two and a half years. Usually, you can find me underground exploring some claustrophobic caves or jumping off of just about any and everything I can find. But welcome to my channel, where the main goal is a life worth living. I just left home Lowe's. I just, not Home Depot, just left Lowe's. Had to go pick up some more wood, had to pick up some cabling and a couple other random miscellaneous things that I need for the ambulance. I am now heading to Chipotle to reward myself. I know exactly what you're thinking. I already know. Hey Brandon, why is your truck such a giant, ugly, disgusting piece of garbage? It looks like a homeless man has maybe slept in it for a week or two. Why would you even drive such a gross thing like that? And to that I would say, hey, it's not that bad. Well, everything's broken in it. The check engine light's on. It barely does run, but hey, I like it. And the guy next to me, he looks like about 70, just staring at me, talking to what he thinks is nothing. That's my day. So let's get Chipotle and go home. Yes, I just cut off a bunch of cars in traffic. Oh well, what are you gonna do? Let's go. It is time to do the insulation. Might end up being a complete disaster. I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing. I have to take advantage of this day because it's like one of our last warm days here and you have to spray it when it's around 75 degrees outside. So let's see how this goes. I don't even know if I can have the GoPro inside of there to film. I have every single thing taped off. I'll show you what I got going on. So I spent the last hour taping everything off, putting cardboard all over everything that I don't want any of this crazy chemical shit to drip on. And I'm about to get started. Couldn't have gone much worse than it did. It was an absolute shitstorm. It was dripping all over the floor, and when I was stepping in it, it was pulling up the blankets that were on the ground. So then it was dripping all over my floor because my feet were moving the blankets, and it just like got over sprayed everywhere. And oh Jesus! I mean, I got it in all the places it's supposed to be, but like, <laughs> look how much thinner this is than that. That is god awful oh boy i don't know i don't know what to think of this i think i uh, think i fucked up pretty bad here damn it okay i have no choice but to retape everything and do a second round with another box of the spray foam because it's just such odd depth now that i could never add foam board to it if i need to retaping everything here we go I did a second round and it's, it's uh, I don't even know. This is gonna take forever. <laughs> this is gonna take forever to sand it all down to the actual thickness that I need because I overdid it all as opposed to underdoing it all. But just check out what, what I got. So, everything is insulated. I'm gonna do this spot. It's hard to talk with this thing. I'm gonna do this spot with the actual foam board because I didn't want it dripping down all over all of my stuff over there. As well as those two spots. I honestly don't even know why I didn't do those, but I'm just gonna fill that with foam board as well. It has almost the same R rating as all of this stuff. I uh, don't even know. I shouldn't be breathing in here. So I'm gonna put this on and I'll just catch you guys tomorrow. I'm gonna start sanding this tonight. And yeah, I'm gonna, I don't, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I might spray some more actually. All right.
believe it's day 18 already. It's time to shave down all the insulation because I need it to be flat with this. So I can actually put some sort of wall down here across the aluminum. I'll just set up a long time lapse because that's what I'm about to do. And I actually found I have a leak but it's not from what I installed, it's actually from this little antenna that used to be here. This thing was dripping this morning when I came in, so that's an easy enough fix. Not bad to only have one leak. Let's get started shaving this all down. I'm gonna try every possible method I can think of. I got a machete, I got a saw, sander. I don't know, let's get going. sanding and cutting and sawing and shaving. Finally got it all to where it's almost good. I, I'm gonna go get some small spray foam and fill in like little spots that I wasn't able to get to. But for right now, it's pretty much good. Just about ready for me to start building cabinets and walls and whatnot. But I haven't eaten yet today, so I'm gonna go do that. And I got insulation in my eyes. All right, yesterday and the day before was awful dealing with all the insulation. I would never recommend anybody does spray foam insulation because it was just terrible. It was the worst thing I've had to do to this so far and I wish I would have gone a different route. Now that it's done, I'm happy, but the process was terrible. Anyways, today I have spent just trying to design a layout, I'm getting measurements and trying to figure out like where my bed's gonna be, where I can build a couch and table and kitchen and an extension of the kitchen, I don't know. A lot of today is just design work, but I got the water tank. Let's see if that fits. Ooh, there we go. Very hard to film and do things. Oh, look, more extra foam that fell down here. Well, I'll have to clean that out, but that is where my water tank should be going. Understand where that came from. Really? That's so close. Look how close that is. I'm just gonna lower the shelf. That way I can flip the tank on its side and it'll fit nice and good. All right, just like that. Fits in there pretty nice. I need to drop it out, pull it out, fill it up and rinse it out and find the right size connectors that I'm gonna need for all the plumbing. Okay, today I decided I'm going with a longer bed. So I already cut this piece out so that a 75 inch long bed will fit, but now I decided to go with an 80 inch long bed, which means I gotta cut it out to here. And that's what I'm about to get started on now. And I'm also going to rip out this exhaust fan. So I need to disconnect that and cut it out. Okay, this right here is the piece that I originally cut off of the box, so it should fit right back on. Now that I change the size of it, and boom, it'll be just like that. Cover that piece up and then my bed will go right across here. Boom. I'm gonna do a little bit of insulation work right here, put the actual foam board in here, and I took that door apart. I'm gonna fill that with foam tonight, and that's gonna be the end for today, but I'll uh, pick back up tomorrow. All right, it's bright and early today. Got the heater cranking in here, should stay nice and warm. And I picked up another eight foot sheet of foam board, just like this stuff that I put in last night. So I'm gonna use this and I just took apart the door. I'm gonna take apart all the doors on the outside compartments, everything, and I'm gonna insulate all of those with that stuff. I also have to move the diesel tank down a little bit because now that I cut this shorter, it's like right in the way. Got a bunch of random things to do today, so that's, that's what I'm doing, let's go. Filling in all these little cracks right here, making sure every little bit of this thing is insulated. Boom, now 
I just gotta do that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10 more times. <laughs> just finish those two, those two. I need to put the diamond plate back up on these two and finish that one as well. Next, I need to insulate the back doors. And then I got one more, one more there, small one there, and a big one, and a super small one. And after that, I gotta start pre-wiring for a couple more electronics that are coming in this week. And that's what I got going on. All right, time to replace all of that. My saw died, so I am uh, switching over to run some wires right now for something special that you will be seeing soon. I don't know if it'll be in this video, or next week's video, but it's one of my favorite things about this whole build. So I gotta pre-wire that now while I wait for the battery to recharge and I'm gonna finish cutting all the insulation and finish up the doors. The struggle of working on an ambulance. Always smashing your fingers on something. Good as new. All right, it's a new day, new project. I got a little bit of stuff to do left on the insulation. I just have to do a vapor barrier there and I have to do it on that door as well. But I got the heater cranking once again because it is freezing today and I am about to start working on the bed frame because I need to figure out that whole situation. The wood ready to go, now let's go chop chop. Okay, this is what I got so far. This is the bed frame, and now I need to cut that big piece of wood to lay over top of it. And I hate doing really long straight cuts on wood like that because I always mess it up. Today is a good day. I don't know why, because it's freezing out, but I'm in a really good mood for some reason. Probably bipolar, I don't know. I already went to the gym this morning, stopped at Walmart, picked up some things. I am changing the oil in my $1,000 truck, and I'm gonna paint that black to make it look nicer. Same thing. I'm gonna paint all that black, just so it looks like a little bit less garbage-like. But right now, I'm about to put a vapor barrier on here, seal that up. Okay, the camera died at 34% battery. I don't know why this thing is garbage. GoPro, I hate you. But yes, tearing this back apart, putting vapor barrier in there, closing that one up as well. And then I am going to start building a tall cabinet over there because I came up with a new layout that I'm gonna do. Yeah, I don't know, I'm feeling productive today. I just finished changing the oil in the truck. I just gotta dump the oil. Both the vapor barriers are done. I need to go inside for a little bit for a YouTube video that is actually gonna be going live in about 20 minutes and then I'm going to start building a tall cabinet inside. Let's go. I stopped the time-lapse because getting started on the build inside takes me a long time to figure it out just because you can't level anything because nothing in here is gonna be level since the whole thing sits on a little angle. So you have to do everything off measurements every which way and then make sure they're all perfect, make sure they don't move. So this took me entirely too long to make this all square and make this where I need it to be. It's all bolted in now. I just need to get the back pieces in, which I just cut this guy. This one shouldn't really have to be that accurate because it's only going to there. It's gonna be sitting in there like so. And then I'll put a big piece right here. And then this one should go to the ceiling. Actually, I might have to trim that one down because it is hitting that lip. So I'm gonna trim that one down and get it in there nice and good. I did a little bit of trimmage. Oh, you bastard. Oh, hey, it made it. Yeah, so that'll be, well, it's a little crooked, but it'll be over that way once I get it all measured in right. And then I'll do some sort of big door thing happening on this side. This side will probably just wall off completely. Probably put some sort of electrical panel area right here for this big mess. This all has to go somewhere and I feel like that's probably one of the best places for it. I'm making progress even though four pieces of wood took me hours and hours to get put in. But once I get it going, then I just start rolling with it and I can measure off of those and if that makes any sense, I don't know. But Happy with the progress today. My little shitty truck outside, got the fresh oil change and it's been a pretty good day. And it's only like almost four o'clock. I got 
plenty of time left tonight to keep working on this. Let's keep rocking. Let's keep rocking, really? That's so stupid. Why do I say the dumbest? I say the dumbest things, I don't know. So I do watch a lot of van conversion builds and it seems like a lot of them that I watch, people really know what they're doing or they're like a carpenter or a furniture builder that owns a furniture store or whatnot. But like, I kind of just do things really stupid and just however it works in my head. So I'm figuring out where all of these switches are gonna go. And my way of doing that is going, huh, that feels good. If I was walking in and want to hit that same switch, boop, boop, beep, boop, here. And then I literally just draw right here, switch height approximate. I don't know, I don't really know what I'm doing. I kind of just know how to use a few tools and I just piece everything together as I go. And that's how I figure some things out, just with my stupid brain. I think I said it before, but this is my least favorite thing to do is cut these giant pieces that gotta be very precise. Cause it's just very hard to keep a straight line the whole way down. I, my ADD takes over and then I get all crooked. But this one actually turned out pretty damn well. Super, super close to being perfect. Might just have to sand out a tiny bit on this edge, if anything, and that one's gonna be good. Haven't figured out what I'm gonna do for the door part of it yet, but I'll figure that out. Me and my mom randomly decided to reorganize the entire garage. We're already halfway done, but I figured I'd set up a time lapse because it's a lot of stuff moving around. Okay, that was a much needed reorganization because the whole garage was just starting to get way too chaotic to be working all the time out of. So anyways, that brings us to the end of this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate all the support. Basically when I'm not out there working on the ambulance, I'm inside editing these videos for you guys to watch. So can't thank you guys enough and I'll see you next week with a lot more progress on this thing. Peace.